Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Water. Water is a source of life and a most valuable asset. The place occupied by water in a culture, a civilization, is unique. In a civilization, the, in a holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreases to an ayah that wa khalaqna min ma'in kulli shayin hay that we created all the living creatures from water. Maharashtra had, had bit by the worst drought from last four decades. 11,800 villages are currently facing the drought. Approximately 29 lakhs 50,000 families are suffering because of the drought. Drinking water is supplied at once in 7 to 10 days to some villages. And the villagers allege that even the water which we are getting from the municipal corporation is also polluted. Life has become very difficult for farmers. Drought in Maratwara left only children, old, and crippled ones in the Perch villages. Men from every house moved and moving to Mumbai and suburban cities to earn their livelihood. Life has become very difficult for farmers. As reported by the Indian Express, since 1st January 2015, every week between 20 to 30 suicides have been reported in, in 8 districts of Maratwada. On an average, 112 distressed farmers commit suicide in a month in drought hit Maratwada. Of the eight districts which have collectively recorded 1,109 suicides by December 27, 2015, Bureau districts tops with 299 suicides. So there should be a long-term solution to prevent the Maratwada changing into burning desert. As a human being and citizen of India, and as a Muslim, it is our foremost duty to help our country and its citizens in its hard time. So our team sat together and thought, what can we do? We did researches and studies for this very drought affected area. After long researches and studies, our team came up with some solutions. So our first solution is underground dam. As surface water resources become fully developed for new development, groundwater offers the only possible option. Furthermore, in arid regions where surface water resources are very scarce or even non-existent, the groundwater is the only possible water resource. Increasingly, greater attention is being placed on how to manage groundwater in a sustainable manner. To manage this underground water, we use underground dams. Now, what is underground dam? An underground dam is a structure that, can, that obstructs the natural flow of groundwater and stores water below the ground surface. There are basically two types of groundwater dams. First is a subsurface dam, which is this one, and the second is a sand storage dam. A subsurface dam is constructed below the ground level and arrests the flow in a natural aquifer, whereas a sand storage dam impounds water in sediment caused to accumulate by the dam itself. The water that is collected in the dam is pumped to the water tank from where it is supplied to the field through drip irrigation. So, our next solution is Kanat system. As we all know that the Marathwa's ground level is uplifted than the sea level. Kanath is a gently sloping channel connected with a series of vertical shafts used to transport water from an aquifer under a hill that goes with the gateway to canals. A Kanath was first produced and developed by the Persian peoples in the starting of 1st millennium BC. A Kanath system is an excellent system in which water flows without any pumping due to the force of gravitation. A kanath is used in the areas where there is absence of rivers and used in the climatic region in hot and arid semi arid regions. Now, I would like to suggest government that there should be a system in Marathwada. As you all know, the kanath system takes a lot of time and money expenditure to build. But once the kanath system builds, it can provide water for years of years to peoples and peoples. Now, I would like to say to government that one time investment and lifetime advantage. The third solution for the scarce of water in Marathwada is fog catcher. We know that in Marathwada there is less rainfall but there is winter. Throughout the whole year, most probably six months of winter in, is in Marathwada. So the government should take full advantage of this technique that is fog catcher. Fog catcher is very simple technique that is not very different from modern rainwater harvesting. Fog harvesting provides a very cheap complementary water from for a arid and semi-arid rural regions. As the wind blows the fog through this specially designed net, 
tiny droplets of content water, condensed water form on the mesh. They are collected in a gutter and transported to the storage site. The collected water, the collected water does meet the WHO standard and can be used as drinking water. Very simple and very basic, but life changing. In sugar factory, water is required at every stage. On average, Marathwada consume 14 lakh liter water per day in Marathwada to process up to 5,000 ton of cane. A huge amount of water is drained as a wastewater. Wasting huge amount of water in such region is not suitable. It should be referred by the means of modern machine to get fresh water. As well as, industry should follow the step of effective management of water to save water. Our next solution is crop exchanger. The major occupation in Maradwada is agriculture. Basically, farmers grow sugarcane in their fields. Sugarcane required 10 times more water than other crops. As we know that, there is scarce of water in Maradwada. The farmers grow sugarcane because they get good rates than other crops. But instead of growing sugarcane, they can grow bamboos, cotton and mustard, etc. Because uh, as, they, as they consume less water than sugarcane. Now, I would like to suggest government to, uh, to ban sugarcane. And government should make schemes to grow other crops like bamboos, cotton, mustard, potatoes, and sweet potatoes, etc. So it is consume less water. As we know that in Maratwara, the rainfall is very low. And we can also say in Maratwara, there is no rainfall as compared to other regions. Have you seen a magnet, how it attracts an iron when came to contact with it? Same way, as a, as a magnet attracts an iron, same way, greenery attracts the rainy cloud. In Maratwara, the forest region has been decreased from 30% to 1%. So, it is necessary to grow crops in Maratwara. The forest region should be grow for ecological area. Government should grow plants which are suitable for arid region, such as lab lab beans, jack beans, tamariks, bubble, pencil labopia, etc. This is the last solution, but not the least, which we have came after so many studies and so many researches. Thank you for listening us. Jazakumallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum.